Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to reduce the background noise in your microphone using Streamlabs OBS. Coming up next in the Streamlabs tutorial. So if you don't already have Streamlabs on your PC, it is great for streaming from or recording your desktop on your PC. Just go ahead and go to Streamlabs.com and download on the upper right hand side of the screen. Now that we're on Streamlabs OBS, how do we reduce the background noise in our microphone? Well, this is going to be very easy. We're going to have to apply a certain filter to it to reduce all the background noise. So let's go ahead and add our microphone. If you don't already have it added to your source, it'll be under audio input capture. And then I already have an existing source on here. So I'm just going to go to add source. Testing, testing, one, two, three. You can see my audio input capture going up and down. Under the mixer, you'll see this kind of cog area right here. Let's go ahead and select this and then go up to filters. And then let's go to this plus icon right here and select this. And the first one we're going to want to go ahead and put on is noise suppression. But we're going to want to put on three altogether. So noise suppression is going to be good to have. So once we have noise suppression level on, let's go to the plus icon again. And then let's go down to noise gate. And noise gate will probably be the most important one out of all these. So noise gate is selected. Let's go to done. A noise gate will only activate sound if it's in between those two thresholds. So you can see your closed threshold and your open threshold. If the sound is too soft, it won't be picked up from your microphone because it won't activate your microphone. So the sound has to be just right to get picked up on your microphone. And this will remove most of the clicks on your keyboard. I'm typing on my keyboard, you can't hear it. So this is the most important thing to have on. And if you are hearing more background noise, just go ahead and set up your close and open thresholds and just adjust those and do the same thing with your noise suppression. Just go ahead and move this up and down to the point where you don't really hear anything in the background. So that's very important. And let's go back to the plus icon and put on our third filter. This time we're going to put on a compressor. And a compressor will make it sound like you're a radio talk show host, where it's going to try to equalize the very low sound and the very high sound and kind of equalize them out. So everything sounds about the same level. So if you're talking very loud, it's going to bring that down a little bit. If you're talking very soft, it's going to bring that volume up a little bit. So everything sounds the same. And if you don't like this, you don't have to have it on, but I love it for streaming or recording. Sometimes I can be just talking a little bit softer and it might be a little bit difficult to hear me. And other times I'm really jacked up playing video games and I'm screaming in the microphone and this will prevent people's ears bleeding on the other end when I'm streaming. So it's good to have it on. So you have all these settings on. Go ahead and press done. And you can go ahead and try it out for yourself right now. Just go ahead and tap around your environment, type on your keyboard, click your mouse, and see if it reduces everything in the background. And also, if you have a gain setting on your microphone, go ahead and make sure that's in the proper position. Sometimes you may have it all the way up, and it's just distorting your microphone, and your microphone quality will sound terrible. Just turn that down. You can adjust the gain under the mixer setting right here. I always try to have it in the yellow portion, just about in the middle. If it's in the red, it's way too loud and it's going to sound terribly distorted. And if it's not loud enough, go back to the settings section right here. Go back up to a filter, go to the plus icon and add a gain. And this will allow you to increase your microphone volume by sliding it over to the right. Hello. So it's very easy to do. Bunch of good settings in the filter for your microphone. So don't be afraid to look around and experiment and try out new things on Streamlabs OBS. If this tutorial did indeed help you out, reduce the background noise on your microphone, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. For more Streamlabs tutorials coming up next on Your Six Studios.